We've hiked up Kilimanjaro, the tallest mountain in Africa. We've trekked to Everest Base Camp. I even hiked 100 kilometers across the Gobi Desert. But this, this is gonna be the hardest challenge that we've done to date. We've always loved hiking and day hikes are great, but we especially love going on those multi-day treks. It's so exciting when you have everything you need in a pack and you just head off into the mountains for a few days. So now that we're traveling full time, we wanted to make multi-day treks a big part of our plans. But the last couple years haven't been a good time for trekking. Our full-time travel started just before COVID hit and it's been really hard to get into countries. Never mind, do those treks that cross borders. So with countries finally opening up, it's time for us to pursue this dream. We decided to go big and we chose the peaks of the Balkans as our trek. It's the first hiking trail to circle through the Western Balkans, going through Albania, Kosovo and Montenegro. So the length of the trek ultimately depends on the route that you take, but we're going to be doing over 120 kilometers or 75 miles. So this is nine days up and down mountain terrain and it's not going to be easy. But before we get into that, a big hello from Skodra, Albania. So this little town is our last taste of urban life before we head off into the mountains. So if you're new around here, I'm Stephanie, this is Jillian. We retired early to travel full time and we want to help bring a little more freedom into your life. It's actually been a few years since we tackled such a significant physical challenge. Back when we were still working, we did the Kumano Koto pilgrimage in Japan. We did the Tour Mont Blanc, which is a hike that circles the highest peaks in Western Europe. But one thing is different now versus then. So now we're traveling full time with our two little dogs. We've taken them on a lot of day hikes in Turkey and Greece and Croatia, but we've never tested them on a long distance multi-day trail. And we're really not sure how they're gonna handle it, but we're gonna give it a try. Good morning! Today is the beginning of the real challenge. We had more of a warm-up hike yesterday, making our way from the city of Skodra to the tiny village of Theth. First by car, which was a pretty wild and bumpy ride, and then we did the last 10 kilometers on foot. So today is where the real hike into the mountains begins. So when we started researching the peaks of the Balkans, our first big concern was how new it is. This whole region was a conflict zone until not that long ago, so the trail wasn't even an option until pretty recently. In some places it has a lot of signposts and in other places there aren't any. It's not like hiking in France or Switzerland where the trails are much more developed and there are signposts about everywhere you look. The few blogs we did find about the trail all mention that even very experienced hikers with GPS can easily get lost. Now, while we do love a long day in the mountains, we definitely want to be sure that we'll find our way to shelter every night. So our next big problem, and this one was a pretty serious one, we were worried about running into very aggressive shepherd dogs. So during our planning phase, we had a call with one of the founders of the trail, and this was actually the very first thing that he mentioned when we said that we'd be hiking with our little guys. So apparently the shepherd dogs are very protective of their flocks, and they're really not used to a lot of foot traffic in these areas. In fact, a few hikers said that they had to actually fend them off. Between the wayfinding and the shepherd dogs, we were feeling a little concerned about tackling this hike on our own. So we did something unusual for us and we signed up for a group hike. Now this was a big decision because we don't normally travel with groups. We prefer to be independent so that we can make our own way in our own time. But for the peaks of the Balkans, hiking with a group just seemed like the smarter, safer choice for us. Of course, it is more expensive than hiking independently since we're supporting a guide to be here with us, but we really feel that our money is going to a good place. And we chose one of the small local companies that actually helped create the trail to begin with. So we're really happy about our decision. Okay, so the real challenge begins. Today we're going to tackle the most iconic section of the hike. We're starting from the little village of Fethi and we're going to be climbing way up and over to the village of Albone. It's the most scenic stretches of the hike apparently, but also one of the longest sections at almost 20 kilometers or 12 miles. So this is where we find out whether we're up for this challenge at all. This is where we find out what we're made of. So let's get going. 
We did try to do a little bit of training for this hike, but honestly, I don't know what we could have done that really could prepare us for the reality of it. It started off with a really steep uphill. In fact, that felt like most of the day, just going up, up and up. But the views really kept us inspired and we were really impressed with how well our dogs did. They were running free and just full of energy as they made their way up. There were a lot of exposed areas where you're just slogging it through the hot sun and really hoping that the views would be worth it. It's been a few years since I climbed a thousand meter elevation in a day, but when we reached the top, the views were amazing and it made all the hard work worthwhile. I'm not sure whether the hardest thing is going up or actually going down from these really tall mountain passes. It was a steep downhill, a lot of slippery rock. We had to take it really slowly. And this is the part where we decided that we did have to put the dogs in their carriers just to keep them out from underfoot and make sure that everyone felt really safe. And then after that, we finally had our lunch. It seemed like we'd been hiking for so many hours and it was a really peaceful, wonderful spot to finally take off our packs and have a nice long break. How's the sandwich? It's really good. <laughs> good morning, guys. We had a great night's sleep last night after such a long day of hiking. It was a really long day of hiking. But even though it was tough, mm -hmm. it was totally worth the effort because the scenery was unbelievable. And it feels so good to be finally living out a dream that we've had for so long. When we first left work, this is exactly what we wanted to be doing. We wanted to be out in nature, to challenge ourselves just like this. Of course, this is really just the beginning. I was expecting this track to be hard, but it is much tougher than I imagined. I'm kind of wondering how we're gonna get through the rest of the trail, but of course, that's where the sense of accomplishment comes in. When you work so hard to get to a place that's this beautiful, you really feel like you earned it. Of course, this is pretty far off the beaten path. We love having adventures, but they don't always need to be so extreme. You can also get a lot of satisfaction from hiking just a couple of hours to a winery, for example, just like we did when we were in Serbia. In fact, you can check that video out right here.